Hi everyone, this video is about FX, which is a terminal JSON viewer and processor. So if you have ever used JQ, it's very similar to JQ in the sense that it can parse through JSON output, but also what this FX allows you to do is interactively walk through the JSON output. This is especially useful when you don't know the structure of JSON. So I'll give you a quick demo of different functionalities that it offers and how you can combine the uh, output of FX and use it with JQ. So I have a data form project here, which gives me a JSON output when I do data for compile.json. And as you can see, it gives you a very, not, well, I mean, big enough JSON so that you don't know, you can't really see the structure. So what you can do is you can pass this output through the FX CLI. So it opens up in an editor-like uh, situation. And then you can press capital E to see all the keys uh, at the root level of this JSON and press L or you can press uh, arrow to uh, collapse or expand uh, the particular array or key. So I can see like you can pass through different, uh, pass through the structure of the JSON quite easily using this. And optionally you can press Z if you have like a huge string to toggle the string as well. And one more functionality it offers uh, among others is if you want to let's say part of this particular variable so you can press y at this here and it gives you at the bottom if you want value path or key uh, of uh, where your cursor is to the clipboard so let's say we want the path so press p and let's exit out by pressing q so if i take that again and in the quotes pass the path it gives me the file name where i was so i can get the file names or different tables in the JSON by doing that. And optionally, I can uh, specifically get just the table array and pass that output to FX. So if you see, I only have the table now. And what you can also do is instead of using FX, I can use JQ and I can get all the file names by doing file name. Right, so you can see it's quite powerful in the sense that once you know the structure, you can use different CLIs that you're comfortable with. So let's say I want, instead of file name, I want query. So I can easily get the query now, right? So quite useful. So uh, not just turn it out, it also, uh, if I go back, it also supports, if I got uh, URLs, right? So if I go to advanced usage and this is a good example, right? So let's say this one, and we go back to our editor and paste that. So what this does is gets me all the titles for that uh, particular JSON. So let's say if we go here, and if we do x equals to x, it should give me all the JSON data. And uh, let's say we can pass that to fx to understand the structure. So if I press E, here so it's basically a bunch of urls and other here i have url label user login let's say i want all the ids right so i can press y and press path and exit out of that and do fx and that let's see if that works yeah so i get all the ids and if i do remove the zero does that give me all the ids yeah so as you can see you can use that and i don't think we even need this particular one because we already know the structure now it gives me all the ids now i can pass this to let's say an out dot json if i open that i have all the key uh, keys all the 32 keys here right which is quite nice i can use this output in a another program or do for the processing on it. Yep, so that was a quick demo of JQ, FX, and how we can use them in um, intertwining with each other.